New tonight, we are learning more about the state lawmaker who was arrested last week on charges of child molestation. The serious allegations for the past two years now. Senator Tony Navarrete worked for a charity that helps at risk youth. Well, political editor Dennis Welch explains. Yeah, and Senator Navarrete worked as a community liaison for a faith based group called Neighborhood Ministries. An official with the organization I spoke with today did not want to go on camera with us, but he told me that as soon as they learned of Navarrete's arrest, they immediately placed him on leave and that they are planning to fire him. Here is the campus of Neighborhood Ministries near downtown Phoenix, where they provide services for those in need, such as food and clothing. The charity also runs an on-site preschool and youth center where they offer education programs for over 100 at-risk youth. In a statement, the ministry said Senator Navarrete served in an administrative role and, quote, had no direct contact with any minors or children in our programming. What he's accused of is abhorrent. Meanwhile, calls for Navarrete's resignation increased with Congressman Greg Stanton. What we've seen so far in terms of the evidence, there is no doubt he needs to resign and resign uh, immediately. And State Senator Kelly Townsend demanded Governor Ducey call a special session of the legislature to remove him from office. I would prefer it to be done by the end of the week, yes. Navarrete faces decades in prison for allegedly molesting two teenagers over several years. And over the weekend, he was released from jail on bond. We did attempt to contact the senator for comment and even tried going to an address listed on his recent court paperwork. But no one answered the door. And Governor Ducey's office also told us that if Navarrete steps down, there will be no need to call a special session to remove him from office. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, Arizona's family.